Could it happen here? We've got a big bridge with big ships that passed under it. Let's go to NBC 10's Gabrielle Caracciolo. She joins us live in Jamestown. Gabrielle? As cargo ships travel to and from the busy port at Quonset Point, they mainly pass under the Newport Bridge. Local leaders now monitoring the situation in Baltimore to see if any changes are necessary here. Hopefully, the state, this state, will take some, um, some lessons from it if there are lessons to be taken. And, protect our bridges and our lower Narragansett and Bay here. As boats enter Rhode Island's waters, larger or foreign vessels are typically required to have a local pilot help them navigate areas close to land. Pilots are individuals familiar with the local body of water, the currents, the wind conditions, obstacles in the harbor. Two pilots were on board the container ship that crashed into a Baltimore bridge. In Rhode Island, the State Pilotage Commission provides training and oversight. They're monitoring the situation to ensure the tragedy isn't repeated. When there are these types of incidents that happen, um, we will get the reports from those incidents and review those as a group and look at those in the context of our trainings, our rules, our regulations to make sure that there's no gap. Newport Maritime expert and injury lawyer John Fulweiler says tugboats are also required in some instances. That's probably just for this kind of situation where there's a loss of steerage or propulsion or whatever happened so that the tug can quickly be there to uh, corral the vessel and stop its movement. Dropping an anchor in this situation is, is, is tough because the inertia of a vessel the size of the Dali makes that really not a great option in close quarters. While the area also sees a lot of cruise ships, he says they're not as risky. A lot of cruise ships have what are called azimuth drives, and those rotate all around, so their maneuverability is very good. Even with the loss of one engine, they've still got a great maneuverability. Cargo ships typically have a single uh, propeller, um, and so when you lose a, 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 you know, a, a, a propulsion in that case, you've also lost really uh, an ability to steer effectively. We've also reached out to the Rhode Island Turnpike and Bridge Authority to ask about its safety procedures for an incident like this, but I've not yet heard back. Live in Jamestown, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News.